Guys, how's it going? Rubik's Master here, and I am so sorry. This is so late. Normally, I would do a Thursday live stream as soon as the event hits, but um, if you guys heard me mention in one of my previous videos, I am moving this week, so I have been driving a lot, moving around a lot. I've only had time last night to hop on and play the first two missions. So what's in the works now is a, a level 30 for low levels video which will be coming out uh hopefully later tonight but um what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go through and look at the rewards and if you're a low level or if you don't have any of these rewards i'm going to suggest what i would get if i didn't have any rewards from any of the past events i'm going to tell you what i would get oh but actually first let me say i'm kind of ticked off so they didn't go with the m2 bradley they went with the m3 bradley I don't understand why it's in the heavy vehicle section. It has less health than a maxed out Rhino, moves faster than any other tank, has an extremely long range, has relative has the highest DPS of any base tank, including the T14 Armata, and it has a longer range than any other tank, has sustained damage. I don't understand why it's a heavy vehicle. Why is it not a light vehicle? And why is it another high-level vehicle? You can see here, the high levels have gotten all the fun stuff, which, to a certain degree, I agree with, but they've gotten the Armata, the Spooky, the Black Shark, and now the Bradley. <clears throat> Though, hey, we do have the, the um, Zeus, so we have that going for us. But anyway, so if you look at this, uh, the low-level rewards are actually kind of crappy. Tier 1s. So if, you have not, if you're a super low-level and you have nothing else... You need to get the PKIFVs. If you're struggling to beat that first mission, you need to farm up enough points to get that PKIFV. Now, looking at the next tier, there's really nothing here you would love to have, except for maybe Humvee crits. Crit cards are really hard to get now, so if you can get them from this event, especially 400 of them, that is going to save you a lot of time later on down the road. Now, for the low levels that are trying to grind that first mission out, uh, getting 10,000 points uh, may, may be all you can get for this event. I don't know how that's going to work out for you. Or the 15,000 for the Humvee IFV. But if you can reasonably get 15,000 points, again, Humvee IFV is a staple. Either the PK IFV or the Humvee IFV, if you have Humvees, is going to open up a huge door for winning attacks below level 40. The Humvee IFV is king. Now, going up even more, uh, you, as you can see, there's just tons of crit cards, crit cards, crit cards, even for the Zeus. You can't even unlock the Zeus or the Avenger at this point. Um, so, up here, well, didn't mean to click on that. Give me just a moment. So, the MQ-11 Avenger. Don't bother. It's really not that great. I have leveled it up a little bit, and I'm thinking about doing a video revisiting it, but don't worry about getting it. Ignore it. If you're reaching the 45,000 tier, go for the Zeus. I can't really speak for the M1 Breacher out of experience. I haven't used it, but I have used the Zeus, and if you're just looking to win tons of attacks and farm as many resources as possible or trying to go for as much infamy as possible, the Zeus is the way to go awesome vehicle especially for base defense but uh, the avenger don't bother i'm probably going to try and get the m1 breacher just so i can say i have it but we'll see well sorry about that guys <laughs> we'll see how it goes um so moving on again the sniper blueprint this is really expensive like i wouldn't even shoot for anything in this tier i'm level 42 i'm going to be grinding this out until i'm out of oil and I would not go for the Sniper. Honestly, the Zeus is way cheaper and is way better than the Sniper. Um, I did a review of the Zeus, if you want to go look at that. I did do a direct comparison to the Sniper because they perform very, very, very similarly. But the Zeus outperforms the Sniper in almost every single way. So, go get that. Or don't get the Sniper. Get the Zeus instead of the Sniper. Um, I would love to get the Striker IFV, since I am going to be unlocking the Striker soon. But honestly, this is where I just kind of have to stop talking about it, because I'm probably not going to get anything from this uh, reward category. And of course, Tier 7. Man, you high levels have at it. I'm 
if one of you guys is going to get the Bradley or has the Bradley, man, if you guys could make some videos and send me the link, I would love to see the Bradley in action. Absolutely love to. Um, but yeah, there you go. So, just to reiterate, if you're super low level trying to grind this one out, if you... Ouch. I just hit my head on a chandelier. <laughs> if you're trying to grind out that first level, maybe you should just get the PKIFVs, but if you already have Humvees, maybe you should just really strive and get that Humvee IFVs. If you're below level 30, those are really going to set you apart. If you can get that Zeus, get it. But those are the three from each category you want. The PKIFV, the Humvee IFV, or the Zeus. Don't bother with any of that other garbage until you have those units, and then start working on those crits. But anyway, uh, tune back in later, guys, for that level 30 for low levels. That will be coming out soon, and until then, y'all have an awesome day.